morning, YouTube! And you, Mr. Millid. Welcome back to yet another glorious episode, my first ever playthrough of Kingdom Come Deliverance. Before we do anything today, if you do enjoy this episode, make sure to go down below, leave a like and a video comment. Not only to earn your place in Odin's Hall, but also to appease the Algo Gods. Trust me, we need them on our side. Today, we're gonna continue on the Mysterious Ways quest, which is the main quest. I know we're like 12 episodes in and we've barely done any campaigning. This game is absolutely awesome. Let's wash ourselves while I talk. Because there's just so much to do, it's so easy to get lost in the world. I can see myself playing this, not recording, and just doing absolutely nothing but having fun for hours upon hours. Pebbles! We need to go to, what was it called? It was called Go and Look For... Look through the Rate Black Chronicle for any record of Lubush and talk to the Rate Scribe. So I think finding the Rate Scribe is our first order of bees wits. Ah, they're right next to each other. Very nice. I know where the armory is. Trust me, I've been there before. Once or twice. Four, five times. Bought a lot of stuff there. A lot of useless stuff because uh, apparently you find all of the good stuff in treasures, which are absolutely free. Can you believe it, Pebbles? I know, kind of crazy, eh? Can you stop ringing the bell, by the way? I'm trying to talk here to my YouTube audience. Hello? I got a torch for night time. Don't worry, it's in my back pocket. Everything is in my back pocket. Uh, so it should be here, right? Scribe? Hello? I feel like I'm intruding. Looks like a scribing place. But there is no scribe to be seen. Mr. Scribe Man! Ooh, nice place you got here, buddy. There he is. No, that's the Balif. But surely this is a scribe, right? Lock pick easy. Don't want to do that. You know what? We're going to wait for an hour. Maybe he just hasn't gotten to writing his poems yet. Come on now. I've been standing around for an hour, surely. And the elevator. Is there any way I can get like a more detailed description of where he is? Maybe he's upstairs? Are you serious in the middle of the day? God be with you. <laughs> uh, so do I get up there, buddy. I need to have a look in the Black Chronicle about Rate. Yes, Black Chronicle. I need to Chronicle. have a look in the Black Chronicle, Friedrich. And I need blessed relief from my suffering. May the Lord have mercy. Yeah, mercy, mercy. I don't mercy. know what I can do for you except bring you a priest. I'm not dying yet. I just can't get up. I'm sorry to hear that. But I'm on the trail of those killers from Neuhof, and I need to know the names of the men who were sentenced alongside Limpy Lubosch from Ujitz. I can't remember. Once I write the record down, it goes straight out of my head. It's essential that I find out those names. Is there anything I can do to help you get back to work? I can't go to work when I can't stand on my feet. Konyash the Apothecary has an embrocation that helps, but it costs dearly. If you brought me some, it might do the trick. Well, you're standing now. I'll try and get some. I have no time. Let's right. do it. I'll try and get some for you. All right. Well, end dialogue. I don't care about Rate, all right? I don't honestly care. I'm here for myself. Oh. Uh, we have to go to the apothecary. How did I even get? Oh, there's the letter. See, does it show on our map? Do you need to actually find him myself? Get impurgation for the rate scribes. Aching joints. Oh, he has aching joints. Trader, trader. Who the? Who is the apothecary? Alchemy bench. Um. What is this? Isn't this the weaponsmith? Nah. Taylor. I saw there was another... It was a quest giver. Not sure if that's where I'm supposed to go. Apothecary! Where are you hiding? You can't hide forever, I'll tell you that much. Apothecary, there he is. Heavens. Uh, I am healthy again. I'm feeling as good as new. Oh, I'm glad. Yeah, don't really care. Scribe wants 
Yes. Scribe Friedrich needs the embrocation for his joints. What? Again? He was here not long ago for some. He ought to make it last longer. I told him not to grease himself up so much. It could cause... Oh, the older he gets, the more foolish he is. Well, did he tell you such salvation is costly? Yeah, yeah, whatever. About that debt? About that debt? Do I have a debt? I won't pay anything? Here you are. Thank you. I'm glad to see you're a man of... Lannister honor. always is pays his debts. Is there anything else debts. I can do for you? Uh, let's talk trade. Wait, did it say reputation lost? I see, it was E, right? Um. Oh, there it is. 46 per. Let's get like three of those. Can I sell him anything? Oh, I'll take anything. Great. All right, but we're not gonna sell anything. We're gonna haggle on a price, though. Come on, I'd get like it down to a hundred, buddy. I? I? Okay, let's try and lowball him. Hundred and five. Since it's you. Since it's you, I'll get two for you three, won't right? Me with that. Okay, one one twenty. All right, that would do it. Ah, great. All right, let's get back to the scribe. Maybe he's addicted or something. I don't know. Ah, uh, where was it? Here. I got your meds. Apothecary. Uh, you're not the apothecary. Scribe. Here you go. My respects to you. I bought you the embrocation. And you were right. It certainly wasn't Wait, cheap. maybe I just needed I one? Know, lad. I've been using it for years. Ha. <laughs> All right. You let me have well, that was a waste of money. Well, you helped me, so now I'll help you. Come along, and I'll show you our Black Chronicle. That really is a miraculous ointment. You haven't even rubbed it on, and it's already working. <sighs> you know how it is. Faith itself is the greatest healer. Maybe Just he's thinking addicted. About the relief it will bring makes me feel better. So don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Come along. Take care now. Gift horse. I yes, give it to you. Let's see. What does it do? Item info, Aces aches of bones and joints increase agility and defense by five points for 10 minutes. All right, well, well. We're going into the bait. No, this is bailiff is all the way. I can't read. God be with you. Wait, am I, is this it? There it is. <clears throat> All right, can we get that objective out of my way? In the year of our Lord 1390 and years thereafter under the reign of King Venceslaus the fourth in Bohemia Lord Henry of Elpia being the sole elder of the province and punisher of rebels against the crown in this book has set down the names of such persons and the manner of ordeal yeah that must be right to which they have righteously put there put air there oh assisted departure from this world at the hand of the executioner oh, don't make me read all of this shut the front door and leave it wide open are you kidding me? Optional get the scribe to help you? Yeah, please. Jeez. Uh, could you find something for me in that book? I'm getting six pages. The thing is, I don't um don't know how to read, do you? So what do you need to know? I'm trying to track down those Neuhoff cutthroats, and I need to find out the names of any cronies of Limpy Lubosch from Ujits. Hmm. Give me a while. Take care now. All right, give him a while. What is a while? An hour? <laughs> I guess you're ready. May the Lord watch over you. Huh? 
What does it say? Get the scrub to help you. Continue. All right. Do I have to wait even longer? Ah, three hours. You need four hours to read six pages. Even I could have done that quicker. Give me a while. That is so, so vague. Will you let me have a look? Well, you helped me, so now I'll... Lead the way. God be with you. Uh, don't know how to read. I'm trying to try... Hmm. Give me... Take care now. Give him a while. What does that mean? Ah! Do I have to stand here and watch him? The beatbox. Wait, why does this page look different? It was an empty book. What? Are you kidding me? I just had to give him literally a little bit. So did you find any mention of Limpy in the book? I did. Apart from Lubosch, there's mention of some Anton from Vlashin and Hinek, known as Riki, from Ledechko. Ledechko? That's a stone throw from here. Aye. Certainly closer than Vlashin. Thanks for your help. And certainly closer Thank than us. Good luck to you. Thank you. All right. Well, that was easy. Huh? What do you mean I'm a private here? Where am I supposed to go then, you filthy? Continue. According to the clue. What? Oh my god. On the seat, quest started. On the scent, rather. Guess it's not only Henry that can't read. Track down Riki! Where is Riki? I'll probably smell him from a mile away, huh? Alright. Can I fast travel? No, I cannot. So we'll just have to make our way over there. Come on, horsey. Yeah. We ain't got more than time of the light of day. It's gonna get dark soon. And we know what happens in the dark. We get ambushed. My stupid, stupid criminals! Good thing I'm ready for them. Pebbles doesn't really talk much back now, does he? I have to... Yeah, there's the bridge. Right. Isn't there a bridge here? Oh, no, it's over here. Oh, Pebbles, watch it! Hard left! There we go! But, uh, to be honest, though... A stone throw from R Rate? Or rather, you can't throw that for more like 10 stone throws. Let's be realistic here. Shrine. Looks like we're coming up on a village. That might be the start of it. the track now there we go there it is off in the distance oh come on horsey get it together hey mutt is with us as well hello buddy watch out you're going to step up yeah. by the horse you can't get up keep up mutt come on Can I cross the shallow water? <laughs> yeah! Pebbles is a beast! Oh! Archery range, nice! Fast travel point, yeah. even noisier. Alright, so he's supposed to be here somewhere, right? We are in the right... The right place. I just want to remove the marker, thank you. You know... Let's ask... This guy, if you know where Riki is. My respects. Riki. I'm looking for a fellow called Riki. You mean Hinek? He's the Tanner's son, isn't he? Any idea where I could find him? I don't know. Try at his folks' house, but he doesn't spend much time there. Was his father like? What do you call Hanky Riki? 
you know anything about him? Are you an archer? What's with the target? I notice you're asking questions. No, I'm Henry of Scalitz. From Scalitz? I'm Vate from here. Why are you so curious about the target? It's just that I sometimes try my hand at archery too. Try your hand, do you? <laughs> I know plenty who do. When you can score as high as me at chumps, then I might be impressed. Ooh. I've got no idea what you're talking about. Never played chumps? And you call yourself an archer? All right. Chumps is a game for real archers. It tests your strength, stamina, and accuracy. And it can be a nice little earner. Unless you're well... So what exactly is it? I'll tell you. A bunch of logs are floated down the river. Then you count to 20, and the archers run along the banks after the logs. At the end of the course, some each archer has 20... Okay, archers. sounds cool. Fun? My friend, it will... I do. Come on, then. Ah, now you have to... So how much will you... No half measures. That's the betting over with. Good luck to you. Uh, can I take... Oh, I can't take off my armor? And now, I'll see you at the finish. Oh, come on. Yes, I can. <laughs> Henry, we ought to do something about your... You know, the rest of your fit, you're looking absolutely incredible. So, yeah, I'm gonna unequip this too. This, because now I'm a Peter Witcher man. Here we go. I'm not sure if that makes us quicker or not. What? Stay. Wait here for me. Day. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of, you know, in the middle of something, villager. Huh. Wait, what? Oh, the logs are there! Are you kidding me? Hi, cheaty cheaters! What the? Trying to use a bow that advances a better skill? Are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go further. A bit, a bit too far. Okay. Fourteen. Let's see you beat that. No one, rather. Got it. Ah oh, well, I won't miss the next one. Uh, I hit one too. What if I hit him in the face? No chance against me, amateurs. Can't see if I hit or not. Almost had it. Bloody hell, the <gasps> wind took it. Let's see you beat that. Oh, nice. Nice. We're on fire, baby! But we're only leading by two, and I have two arrows left, and they got eight and nine. Almost had We're gonna make these two count. Damn it, I wish I was able to swim. Uh, oh well. Nine points. It's the best I could do. What you gonna do, huh? What you gonna do? Huh? Yeah, you'll do nothing, pal. I won't it. Come on, I dare ya. I double dare ya. Eh? Gonna do something. 
You're gonna do something? No, you'll do nothing. Are you gonna shoot? <laughs> Huh? Oh no! Into the water! Nay! Ah! Damn, missed. I've got yes! Shoot the most colored arrows into the logs. Did I win? <laughs> Definitely didn't cheat. So, how did it go? Second out of three. Huh? Not exactly dazzling, but at least you weren't last. Here's your money back. Uh, yeah, I would not oh, like to try that again. That one, that sounded a lot more fun than it was. All right, let's get this armor back on so we actually look like a, you know, a respectable gentleman. There we go. All right, pebbles. Get, 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 get. Let's see. Try his folks home? How am I supposed to know where his folks home is? Yeah. What? What? Yeah, What's hey? Ooh, I think you're looking scary. I was gonna talk to him, but I don't wanna get with my horse. Come on, come on, Pebbles. Come on, you got this. Yeah, good boy. Yeah. Hey, who's there? God be. Do you know anything about him? So you know this Hinek. Can you tell me something about him? Not much, I confess. Most of the village folk avoid him like. Why is that? No one with a nose likes spending too much time around Tanners. And that Riki keeps bad company. I've never heard a good word said about him. What is father like? How a reputation there must be someone who talks to Riki. Don't tell me there's not a single person who talks to him. He's been seen around with one of the bathhouse wenches. Adela, I believe she's called. Okay, bathhouse. Got it! Farewell. Be a good year for the apples. Alright. That is right down there. Oh, I thought I could climb the wall. For something around here. Yeah. That's an eel house made. Goodbye. Goodbye. Has something happened? God watch. What can you tell me about this, Hinek? What can I tell you? No, nope, he's none too popular. No one cares to talk to him. Why not? Well, I'm not one to gossip, but I heard he keeps bad company. Uh, I'll see. What was no her name? At all talk to him. That harlot Adela hangs around with him, of course. Harlot? She works as a bathhouse wench. Same thing. Wait, don't you too? Goodbye. Hey. Yeah, what's up? Are you a harlot? Scarlet? Mother of God! Looking for someone? Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Can you talk? Looking for something around here? Yeah! Hey. Who is it? Who's there? Mate, I didn't want to sit. I wanted to talk! Oh, are you kidding me? And then he gave me the option to talk. Not at all. I've... No, no, no staring at my breath. Unless you're willing what? to pay. And then you can even touch. Hey, them. what's up, dog? Hey, what the? It's Clear off scary, before I call a catch pool. Ooh, scary. For someone? Yeah. At her miserable face. Oh, my Stop days. Moaning and do what you say. Okay. Let's try and reset it. Didn't want to let me talk to her. Why not? What have I ever done to you, villager? Oh, oh finally. Good night. Uh, 
I'd like to. Uh... And what is it you? Okay, let's see. To heal my wounds, heal my wounds, bath and laundry. Get a haircut, get a shave. Oh, uh, well, certainly. Not. That can be your. Fine. I'm sure you. Goodbye. Two hours. Why didn't I ask her about the uh, Scarlet? Surely she knows who she was talking about. Okay, bathmaid. She's still bathing. Three hours later. Okay, I guess we gotta wait until daytime now. That it should be this difficult, this much, just to talk to a bath maid? My days, I would have never expected. Why did I have to make it so difficult? No wonder the campaign is so long. It takes two hours just to find who you're supposed to talk to. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Hey. Put on the Someone there? Yeah, I'm right there in front of you. Oh, excuse me. Uh, Who is it? Are you her Scarlet? A dealer? Yes! I, be with you. I heard you've been seeing Hinek, the Tanner's son. So what? Come to preach at me, have you? That I'm a loose woman? A sinner? That I seduce decent men? God, no. Nothing like that. It's just that you're the only one in the village who sees Hinek, so I came to ask you about him. Aye, I've seen him often enough. But I don't know what I could tell you about him. Uh, where's Hinek? Where can I find Hinek? I haven't seen him in the village for a few days. He must have run off to the woods again. Does he do that often? From time to time. What the hell does he get up to there? I, I don't know. I'm a friend of Hinex. Sounds like he's up to something. Look, Hinex's my friend and I really need to know where he is and what he's doing. But I already told you I don't know where he's got to. So I suppose he just goes to the woods to pick mushrooms, does he? Mushrooms? No. More like hares or other game. So Hinnick is a poacher. That's no surprise. Well, he was never much of one for an honest trade. Do you know exactly where he goes? Maybe he has some favourite spot he might have told you about? He said he has some hideout in the woods, but he didn't tell me where. <sighs> where did you see last time? Hey, what's up, buddy? A few days ago. He came to me late in the evening, drunk. And that was unusual? I never saw him drink much. He always came to me sober. So he was acting strangely that evening? He was strange. I had the feeling he was afraid of something. He kept prattling on and didn't seem to care about... you know what. So I threw him out and I haven't seen him since. All right. Well, well, well. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Yo, what up, dog? You back for another bath? You better need it, cause you're ugly and stinky. All right, so talk to Ricky's father. Maybe he knows something. Pebbles. Thank you. I ain't walking across the river, can we? Yeah. I worked too hard to put down this fat, just to burn it off again. No way. Nice. Park inside of the house. Perfect. I'm honored. I'm looking for your son. Any idea where he might be? I don't know nothing. Don't you at least know where he usually goes? It's important. He next shows up at home once in a blue moon, so I don't know nothing about where he gets to. Even if I did, oh, let's kill him then. why would He's I dead. tell every Tom, Dick and Harry? I'm an envoy of Zeradzik. Don't make me angry. Listen, your son's in serious trouble. I'm trying to help him. And my patience is wearing extremely <laughs> thin. If you start answering my questions, this is going to go a lot better for everyone. Oh. Are you threatening me? And I'm supposed to believe you want to help Hinek? Believe what you like. I'm concerned about Hinek, but I really don't much care what happens to you. Is that clear? Fuck it. I'm not going to take a beating on account of that good for nothing. So? There's not much I can do for you anyway. Hinek came here, but he left right away. Well, where did he go? You better give me something. 
You really don't want to waste my time. Hinek makes some money on the side from poaching. He boasted to me a few times about what a great hideout he found in the woods. But he never told me where it is. Well, it's not much to go on. But it's better than nothing. Thank you. Alright, poacher's hideout. Don't you have any clue at all where his hideout? I really don't know nothing about that. I could tell when he'd come from there is all. How's that? Because every time he brought some hides for tanning and money. All right. I need to know more. What more do you know? Nothing. I swear to God Almighty, I've said all I know. Hinnick never told me Oh, nothing. he's lying. Bloody hell. Start using your head or I'll never find Hinnick. How much time did he spend away? What was he wearing? How did he look when he came back? Anything? Well, he came and went at all sorts of hours. I really don't know. Except maybe one thing. He'd come home scratched with brambles and with leaves and muck on him. So he probably went through thick woods to get to that place. I reckon. What do I know? He had money because he sold the stuff right away. I suppose. He... Do you know who he sold it to? No. But the innkeeper came here now and again and gave him coin. Of course, it could have been for me. All right. I'll ask at the inn then. All right, so bushies. <sighs> Kill the camp leader. Oh, trust me, I will. All right, so we were being a tough guy. Almost threw a fisticuffs at him. Yeah. Make way! King's envoy! Move, yeah. move, move, move. This is a major emergency. Oh. Good morning. Good luck then. Thank you. Ah, uh, yeah. Jesus Christ. Was he in his father's like? Whether to go in here? Surely someone's talked to him. Good luck then. The innkeep? That's the alehouse maid. There he is. I'll be with you. I want to ask about the courier's son, Hinek. And ask someone else. We have nothing to do with Riki. He'd only drive my customers away. <laughs> really? I heard a different story. I heard the two of you do business together. Who are you, anyway? A friend of Hinek's. He's gone missing, and I need to find him. I don't know where he is. But if you find the bastard, tell him he still owes me some goods. I no time for evasions. I don't give a damn what deals you've been doing together. I won't tell anyone. I just need to know where Riki is. It's urgent. What have our deals got to do with where he disappeared to? <laughs> More than you think. It's likely Riki is hiding out at his poaching there. And believe me, it wasn't hard to find out who was buying game from him. And it's even easier to go to the castle and tell them. Poaching's a crime, after all. All right, all right. But well, give me your word of honor. You won't tell anyone about our deal. You have my word. Fine. So, what do you want to know? I hear Hinek has a hideout in the woods he uses for hunting game. Do you know where it is? Not exactly. That is... I don't know where it is at all. But? But I happen to know it's a dark place. A cave or an old mine shaft. How do you know that? Whenever Riki was going poaching, he always came to me first for candles and lamp oil. He brought the game skinned and gutted, so we had to have a light for that. Alright, how much game did he bring you? And do you know of any mine shafts nearby? There's a few of them around. There's one on the opposite bank, a short way off the path leading from the forge to the west. Then there's a mine gallery to the east of the village, uh, up in the woods above the cliffs. And I heard there's one shaft on the headland close to the water. Thank you. All right, well, You're we're welcome. going. Watch you don't break your neck, though. It's rough. Good luck to you. I guess we'll go check out these mine shafts. Uh, not far off the path. We'll go. Wait, where's A? 
Oh, A is the main mission. So we'll do B first. And we'll do C and D. Highly doubt that he's going to be in the closest one, though. But, uh, you know. We ought to check it out regardless. Or should we just go straight to D? Yeah. I feel like he's going to be at the last one. Double time, Pebbles! Gonna get, get! Make way for the King's Envoy! Is this a landing strip? For aeroplanes? They know they had aeroplanes in these days. Alright, let's have a gallon there. He said not far off the path. So we ought to break up at the earliest opportunity. But there are steep cliffs. It looks like there's a break yeah. there. If we can get through these bushes, that is. Ah, oh, nice. Well done, Henry. Well done. Or pebbles. I don't know whose fault it is. Wait, is it impossible for me to cr cross here? Oh, come on, surely. Oh my... Okay. Yeah. Well, at least it's not too steep here. She'll be able to just ride right up it. If you slip pebbles, we're both dead. Remember that. And you're the one right, uh, running. I'm just, you know, controlling you. I'm giving suggestions of where to go. You should know where you're safe and not. into the opening Ha! Thought it was a uh, miner I'm not what I'm meant to do. That's fine. Wait, we have to go down to follow the river. Yeah. Should be right that way. There should be here. Is this a path? No, it's not. Oh, here we go. There it is. the last one Jesus Christ what am I to do not that I can expect any use from advice from you at least you have no more cares need someone to talk to fuck don't, don't kill me. I, I can explain. I won't tell anyone. I swear, I've no one to tell anyway. Just please don't kill me. I'm not planning to kill you. You're, you're not one of Runt's men? No. Huh. Then who are you? Hmm, interesting. The behest of Sir Radzik. I come here in the name of Sir Radzik Kapila and Sir Hanish of Lipa. I'm investigating the raid on the Neuhof stud farm. I've got no idea what you're on about. Well, save your breath. If you want any chance to escape the gallows, you'd better come clean, all right? 
Jesus Christ. This will never be over. So? Admit it. Fine, then. That Neuhoff raid of yours didn't turn out quite as planned, did it? Depends on whose plan you're talking about. We were up to it to grab some loot and bugger off. Only Runt's cutthroats was there to shed blood. What do you mean, Runt's cutthroats? There were two gangs there. Mine and Runt's. We was only there to steal, but they wanted to slaughter everyone. But when you realised what they had in mind, you didn't have to go along with it, did you? But we didn't know nothing, even though we were going to Neuhoff. They told us to keep watch on the courtyard while they were cutting the horses' throats. Jesus, that fucking vexed me. Their horses was the most valuable thing there. When I spoke up, though, Runt gave me such a bollocking I knew I'd better keep my mouth shut. And when they said we was going to kill anything that moved, then we knew there was no going back. Your gang? Tell me about your gang. That gang of yours. What can you tell me about them? Don't know what you want to know. There was four of us. Me, Timmy, Lou Bosch, and Pius Pava. Sometimes we'd rob a place or hold up pilgrims. Never nothing fancy. I'm sure you did mischief enough. Who led you? Pius. He was the oldest and he'd mostly find the jobs for us. Plan them and the like. He got us into that fucking mess in Neuhoff too. What about the others? Timmy's strong as an ox with a brain to match. You got more sense out of a fence post. And Limpy. I've been with him the longest. He's my one and only friend, I suppose. Who got your two gangs together? You must have made contact with Well, they just right? kind of told Pius. us. He comes to us and says he's got this prime job. We're going to rob a farm, he says. Well, that was a big deal, because mostly we just did small stuff. A hold up on the road now and then. Nothing fancy. When they told us how much we could make on it, well, we just couldn't refuse. So Pius knew them? I suppose, but I don't know where from. We even got paid up front. I should have known from the start it was too good to be true. Where did the rest of your gang end up? You saw Limpy, right? Yes, but he's no use to me now. Tell me where I can find Pius or Timmy. I don't know nothing about Pius. He vanished in the woods, and I haven't seen him since. Timmy, I reckon, went back to the mill where he works. Which mill? The windmill a bit north of Neuhof. All right. Runt's gang? Did you know any of Runt's people? Not a one. They didn't talk to us at all. None of their faces was Talks familiar. Talks weird. Not the one? The only thing I know Never is they called the huge chief of theirs Runt. And Pius warned us to watch out for him. I don't suppose you know where they got to after the raid. On the way to Neuhof, Timmy told me he was at their camp with Pius. I reckon that's where they've gone now. Did Timmy tell you where the camp is? Somewhere in the woods. He didn't say nothing more. Thing is, Timmy's got quite an imagination. But Pius roared at him to shut it, so I reckon there must be something in it. Tell me exactly how the raid went down. Um, well, we stormed in from the rear. Runt's people started slaughtering the horses. Jesus, that was bleeding horrible. Meanwhile, me and Limpy had a sniff round the stables to see if we could find anything worth pilfering. And in the end, we got lucky. What did you find? Smilled Dead horses. Sir Hanish's groom. I don't know why he was up and what he was doing in the stables, but we took advantage of the situation. Limpy grabs him by the throat, and I slapped him round to encourage him to tell us where the money was. Then it all fell apart at the seams. Quicker than you'd believe, Runt comes running up and skewers the groom like a pig for roasting. My jaw dropped. I thought the stuff about killing was just tough talk. And it wasn't? No, not in the least. What happened then? I'm gaping at Smill, stuck through and through, and I noticed this boy standing at the other end of the stables. The stupid sods pointing at us, jaw hanging down to his knees, saying, I know you. Runt turns to us and hisses, take him down. So me and Lubosh start running, because the lad took to his heels. At the same time, we could hear the noise of the skirmish in the courtyard. We caught up with the boy at the next farmhouse. I knock him to the ground, but he bashes me with some piece of iron so hard my head's ringing like a fucking church bell. Limpy grabs it off him and stands over him, with his bodkin in his hand, and I start praying. 
In the end, Limpy just gives him a kick and says, beat it, Ginger. And then Runt shows up at the gate and hollers that we gotta go. So we scarp it. <laughs> All right. What happened after the raid? We were waiting for that fool, Timmy. Same place as we met them before, so he'd know where we were, right? Stupid fucking idea. But Pius didn't want to leave him behind. You know, behind. stupid swearing that much, buddy, because I'm trying to get this video monetized and not helping. Runt's men were dragging him. There was some difference of opinion. You could say that, yeah. They started on us right away that we were traitors. They knew we'd let somebody get away, and now we were going to pay for it. They started trying to surround us, and we knew what was coming. But Limpy took his bodkin and let that fucker have it in the Hey, mouth. hey, Runt. hey. One of the others. Timmy broke free from them, and we all took to our heels. Luckily, they were so buggered from the raid, they didn't follow us for long. They just shouted that they'd find us. You and off raid. We were to done that. That will That's do for now. So now what do I do with you? Well. Hey, over here. Ooh. Oh, man. Shh. Oh, shit. Runs, people. We've got to get out of here. They're too close. We'll never outrun them. Fuck! At least they don't know I'm here. The two of us can take them by surprise. Yeah. No fucking way. I'm gone. Look here. If you run, they'll catch up with you and kill you. And me too. Together, we stand a better chance. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. I suppose you're right. It's only three of them. Come on now, let's swoop them. Okay. Shield. What's going on there? Ah! Ah! Tired of life, are you? Yeah. Ah! Kind of. So what you mean, though? Yeah. Stop right now. Yeah. Oh. Come on. Come on then, huh? What you gonna do? Dear God. Shut your mouth, boy! What do we got here? Wait, what? You killed him? Oh, well. Guess I got all the information I needed. Yeah, I think he's kind of dead. Any erosion? Uh, any erosion on you? Oh, we got some honey. We got some erosion. Uh, I'm going to take some of the most valuable stuff here. A couple of pieces of food too. Uh, wasn't there one more here? Oh, they're both over here, weren't they? Get ocean. Take the bandage. Leather gloves are worth a lot. So how much is like a normal sword worth? Armor, we'll put everything we don't use. Just most of this. Patched. Are they better than what I have? Yeah, they are. I think that's about it. Weapons, heavy shield. 57. 
trusted companion. Ah, he's worth 181. Okay, nice. All right, pebbles, me boy. So, inquire Timmy at the windmill. Timmy! Timmy, my boy. How do I heal myself? Do I have anything? You know what we should do? Oh, I don't have any saver snaps. Uh, I want to continue, but I think I'm going to head back. And then we're going to sleep to replenish our strength. Maybe if it's just for a couple of hours and we're going to buy a saver snap. But if I sleep, I'm saving at the same time anyways. Where's the alehouse maid? What else do you sir? Have you got a bed for the night? All right. For how long? One night. Just the No problem. Here you are. You'll like it. Where do I go to sleep? That's easy. As soon as you go indoors, at the end of the room on the left, there's a door leading to the chamber. All right. GG's. Sleep and save, please. Let's see. Yeah, two hours. Oh, just two hours? Nice. Here we go. Healthy like before we were attacked by swords why ah is that due to my my stuffiness that my stamina is not as good all right let's see we're heading there get, 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 yeah. Yeah. come on come on boy yeah 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 well done pebbles true master horse I don't think off-road in this game usually never pays off. You've discovered a beehive. Nice. I forgot to buy the saver snaps though, but we'll do that later. At least we've slept now, so in case something happens, we won't have to do everything over again. Yeah. Well, have I been in this area before? Or does it just look like somewhere else? I swear. I feel like it. No, I have not been here before. Yeah. We just discovered it. I feel like I've ridden on a trail with the uh, trees around it before. Yeah. Uh, okay, to the left up here. Yeah. Gotta get to the middle. Here. talk to I'm looking for a colossus by the name of Timmy I heard he works here I don't know anyone like that <laughs> someone wants to kill him sir Hannah sent me it will be better all around if you tell me listen and listen well it'll be better for everybody if you tell me I'll be happy to know where I can find him you'll be happy I don't have to get nasty with you and Timmy I'm sure <laughs> Timmy will be happy to stay alive hey I'm Henry you you don't want to hurt him. No, like I said, I just want to talk to him. All right, but not here. We'll talk around the back, behind the mill. 
Ouais. Kind of annoys me that he's wearing the bow when I'm not using it. <laughs> Talk around the back. Well, well, well. Don't mind if I do. Didn't mean to do that. Here I am. So, why all the secrecy? What do you want from Timmy? Can you tell me where to find him? Promise me nothing will happen to him. Why do you care so much? He's my brother. He's not very smart, you see. And he's always getting led astray by his no good friends. And now there's some right peculiar characters looking for him. Who are they? I don't know. But they look like cutthroats. And they said some strange things. But I didn't tell them anything. That's good. But sooner or later they'll find him anyway. Tell me where he is and I'll take care of him. He's hiding at the Colburn farm over by Merhoyed. What's up? Oh. Four? I get the feeling you're looking for someone here. Oh, for really? Too. Maybe we could help each other. Hmm. And who are you looking for? A great big ox by the name of Timmy. That's interesting. I'm also looking for a big ox called Timmy. Well, what are the chances? Could it be the same fellow, I wonder? Now, if someone were to tell me where to find Timmy, I might offer that man a job. We could use a smart fellow like that at the camp. Where's your camp? I want money. I don't know where he is. He's in Rete. <laughs> I've no idea where he is. I reckon I'll have to try my luck elsewhere. That wench didn't tell you anything. Um, she didn't say anything. <laughs> oh yeah. Stop messing around and <sighs> spit it out. All right, I'll tell you where he is. Really? Why would you do that? We're all Christians here, aren't we? Why not help thy neighbour? Especially if he pays two score of groschen. Ha! <laughs> you wouldn't be my cousin by any chance. I'll give you two dozen, no more. Half now, and half when we find Two him. dozen? Deal. 24? Oh, whoa! I hear he's hiding in Ratai. Oh, yeah? Where in Ratai? He's at the butchers. They're his kin. Well, excuse me if I take that with a grain of salt. I'll just leave Radan here to keep an eye on you. For your own protection, you know. Come with us if you've got the stomach for it. If not, come and find us in the Samapesh Tavern when it's all over. Or we'll find you. Come on, boys. Who's going to stay with me? Oh. You got the, <clears throat> you got the honors, huh? Didn't mean to do that. Uh, some grosjean. Just in case those return, don't want to pick him up just yet. Where did he go? Did he just run off? Well, at least that was only three of them, right? And rolling the tourney, we got to do that one. 
get Timmy to tell you where the other bandits. Okay, well, well, well. Timmy, my boy. Yeah. I just saved you behind. You ought to help me out a bit now, yeah? Oh, not a bandit, huh? Yeah. Get out of my way. Shut your mouth. Well, that went well. We got away with 225 Grosjean. We lured them. We didn't have to fight them all. We killed one of them. You're nice. Very great time. Behind a stud farm. Come on, Pebbles. Come on. WWW time. I wonder why every single cutscene is 10 FPS, though. That does still boggle my mind. I thought the first time was kind of a bug. Because I don't think the first couple of uh, cutscenes had frame rate issues. I hope. Is there a fellow called Timmy? Yep. He turned up a few days ago, so we took him on as a farmhand. He won't last long, though. He's as strong as a pair of oxen, but twice as dumb. He All right. Farewell. Uh, is that him? I'm expecting a huge fella. Is this Timmy? Hey, Timmy. How are you today? I'm all right. Uh, have we met? We have now. Huh? Oh, shit. W what do you want? I it wasn't me. I, I didn't... I mean... Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I saw what you did at Neuhof. What are you talking about? You weren't there. I, I mean... I wasn't there. Don't waste your breath. You were there with Limpy Lubosh and Riki. I heard all about it. What do you want from me? Your what do you want from told me? told me about a whole camp full of those horse huns. And I want to find it. I need to find it. Yeah. But... But why should I trust you, though? I'm not stupid. You might be one of them. Pretending to not be one of them. Trying to catch me out. I won't tell you nothing. All right. So money might change your mind, spit it out or else. Listen here, blockhead. I don't have all day for this. Tell me what I want to know so I don't have to hurt you. Ah, you want to fight me? Oh, all right. If you like. You look like you might last a minute or two. All right. Well, let's go then. <laughs> Come on then. Come on then. <laughs> I didn't know she did that. Bollocks! Hey! I'm not surprised. Betty was always good with her hands. Right there. I showed a couple of pieces. Here! Where does he always win the clinches? The one I buy goods from. And he said, right away. Wow, he's fast. So I asked for a high price. I like how you're just talking in the background. Ooh, that was quick. Just like that. You can. You can still yield. She was well. Even more when I told her Tonda. That's great. A bit of the coin Come on, then you're almost done. Yeah. Hey, stop doing that with my arm. You're gonna cry now. Now where are you? Alright, alright, you win. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> it isn't fair. 
So are you going to tell me where I can find that camp? Yeah, I'll tell you. By the side of Jesus, what got into you? I'm a bit surprised myself. So? I don't know where their camp is. That's a load of horse shit. Hinek told me you were there, and that Pius warned you to keep your mouth shut. You must know something. Well, once I was there with them, yeah. Only, I was pretty drunk, so I'm not too sure. Try to remember. It was in the woods. In some kind of woods. You know, with uh, trees and stuff. There were some wrecked houses there and all. In the woods. A, a church! There was a church there. Kind of a broken one, though. Oh, great. Thanks a lot. Now it's all clear to me. Do you remember which way you went? It was straight north from Townberg. When you go uphill from the castle, there's a path there round some barns, I think. It leads to the woodcutter's camp. If you go further on past the woodcutter's, you come across this abandoned house. Can't miss it. Looks like a house, only abandoned. Go to the left there and carry on till you come to this clearing with a big beech tree. Or was it an oak? Uh, you go left there again. There's this narrow path and you go straight along there. You keep straight. Better than nothing, I suppose. Ah. But you won't tell nobody about Neuhoff, right? You promise. I have to confess. You took part in that massacre, Timmy. People got killed and the farm was burned down. You can't expect to get away with it just like that. Come with me to Ratai. They'll know what to do with you there. No, no. I, I won't go anywhere with you. They'd hang me. What do you expect? That you can join a gang of robbers to go thieving, murdering and burning and nothing will happen to you? Come with me, and at least you'll die like an honest Christian. Never. You might as well kill me here and now. Well, the Lord sees you, so who am I to judge you? Your sins will come back to haunt you yet. All right. Well, 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 Timmy, sit down. Oh, he's going to lay down and cry. Yeah. It was good seeing you guys. I am going to have my leave. Close the door behind me. And I think that is the perfect place to end today's episode. If you did enjoy, you know exactly what to do. Leave a like and a video comment. Turn your place on audience hall. While you're down there, make sure to hit the subscription button to never miss a single Kingdom Come Deliverance video or any other of the amazing games that we do here on this YouTube channel. And on that note, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, Vikings!